Hey everyone, Percy Jules here. Now today let's talk about Studio One and let's start at the uh, start. We're going to talk about the Studio One start page. And yes, I know, I know, it may not be the most complicated subject in the world. Probably most, even first time Studio One users will kind of find their way around without a lot of help. But I just thought, you know what, might be good if at least for once somebody would mention it and talk about it a little bit and in this case that somebody is me which also means that i am somebody so the start page in studio one what is it what can you do with it where can it take you etc etc let's go super c now whenever you start up studio one after it's done its thing so first it will check for plugins it will check external devices etc etc after that's done you should land on this page this is the studio one start page to be clear i'm using studio one 5 professional if you're using Studio One Prime or Studio One Artist, some things may look a little bit different, but the basic idea behind it is still gonna be the same. Now, first things first, let's first take a look at this section right here. Here we can see an amazing picture. Does it remind you of anyone? Now, to be clear, Studio One does not come with this picture pre-installed. That's uh, me. Now anyway, the start page allows you to upload a picture of yourself or of, a, of your band or something like that, just to make it a little bit more personal. Okay, now let's move up to the top bar. To the left you can see the SoundCloud client. Uh, this allows you to connect to, cloud, to SoundCloud directly. Uh, you can even upload a song directly to SoundCloud. Uh, I've personally never used it, but you know, it's good to know that it's there. Now next to that we have a macro organizer. Um, to be completely honest, I'm not really sure why it's there. <laughs> I've never used it before. Well, I've used a macro organizer before, but not from here. But again, it's you no, know, it's good to know that it's it's uh, it's available from here. Now moving on to the right, um, here you can see start song project and show. These are all the pages you can visit in Studio One. So we are now on the start page. We could also go to the song page. I have a song open, as you can see. Um, notice that also on the song page, you can, you can again see start song project page, uh, show. You can see all the pages you can visit. Uh, from here, we can go to the project page or we can go to the start page or to the show page. You know, you can just move back and forth uh, with these knobs. Okay, now let's move down a little bit to this bar. Now from this bar, we can create a new song like this or we can create a new project or a new show or we can open any existing files in Studio One. All right, now here we have a list of all recent files, which obviously is very useful. Uh, one nice thing about it is that if you right click the logo, you can see all the past versions of that song, you know, and you can return to that, uh, to any of the versions uh, right from here. Great stuff. Now, next to that, we have songs. Now, this is the one thing that I think is, uh, is still great. It's still great to have access to your songs right from here, but there is some room for improvement. And to show you what I mean, let's first open uh, the Studio One file folder. Now, as you can see, all the Studio One files are organized in folders. So we have demos and tutorials, macros, presets, etc. Now, obviously, you would store your songs in the songs folder. You don't have to, you can store your songs anywhere you want on your computer. I think I would recommend storing them in the songs folder. So let's open the songs folder. And here you can see all my songs. Well, not all of them, but most of them, probably. And immediately, you can probably also see what my system is for storing new songs. So 0001 is one of my songs. It's actually a song folder. It contains all the files necessary for that song. Um, 0002 is another one. So these are all song folders. Now, so far, so good. So these songs will show up in the uh, songs list. All right. Here's the thing though. Um, I and 
I'm 100% sure I'm not alone in this. Probably most people would agree with me. I like to categorize my songs. Now, the obvious way to do that would be to, within the songs folder, create another uh, folder, so a subfolder, and then store some of my songs in that subfolder. So, for example, I could have a subfolder for only beats or I could have a subfolder for pop songs or whatever it is, you know, I like to categorize my songs like that. The problem is that this songs list only pulls songs from the songs folder if they are stored at the root of the folder, which means that, as I mentioned, all of these songs will show up in that list. If I create a subfolder and store songs in there, it will not show up in the songs list. So that to me, yeah, is a little bit of a letdown, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I'm not a computer expert, I'm not a computer programmer, so I'm not sure how much of a, uh, a challenge that might be for the programmers to, to fix that. But it would be great if in the near future we would be able you know, to see all of our songs, even in subfolders within this list. So Presonus, are you watching? Moving on. So next to songs we have projects and next to that we have shows. Now we already talked about the profile picture, which is part of your artist profile. Next to artist profile, we have SoundCloud, some SoundCloud settings. I uh, don't know a lot about this because again, I'm not using it. Uh, below that though, we have kind of a, a shortcut to your audio interface settings. So if we click this, we'll be taken to where we can change those settings. So I can choose another audio interface or I can open the control panel, etc. Okay. Now, then below that, we can also configure some um, external devices. So this is my MIDI keyboard, for example. Um, and then finally down here, we can check for updates. And then here to the far right, we have the news feed, which will show you some articles, I believe from the pre sonus blog, um, which will show you some news, some tips and tricks, and sometimes some offers from pre -Sonus. And then to the right of that, we have demos and tutorials. Um, but you need to have that installed and apparently I don't. But if you want to install them, you can just click this and you can install them from right here. So that good people of the world who are using Studio One or are thinking of maybe using Studio One one day in the future or that's a start page in Studio One. If you ask me, it's a very useful place to start whenever you open Studio One. So thumbs up, but again, there is a little bit of room for improvement. All right, hope this helps. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Mm -hmm.